Hello everyone and welcome back to Manhua Expert. Get ready to check out some really cool new Korean webcomics this year. These comics have become really popular because they have great stories, awesome art, and cool characters. In today's video, I'll talk about the top 10 new manhwa with super strong main characters in 2024. Whether you already like manhwa or are just starting to read them, this list will give you some great options. So, let's get started and find out about the best manhwa series of the year. Number 10 on our list is King of Violence. Lee Gildu gets severely bullied due to school violence that makes him transfer schools. But in his new school, there are no bullies or bullying. The atmosphere there makes him think that he can finally lead a normal school life that he always wished for. But there a dark side to this high school, the fighting arena, where the students fight fair in a 1v1 to enjoy violence. If you want to keep a normal school life, you have to fight in the arena. The guy who got always beat up should fight now. It's a concept that we've seen in many stories, but the approach in this manhwa is unique and interesting. You should definitely try this one out. Number 9 on our list is Eternally Regressing Night. The plot revolves around the protagonist, who repeats the same day again and again when he dies. Each time he has to overcome a wall that he is faced with. When he dies to an opponent who is stronger than him, he has to repeat the day in a loop until he overcomes his limits and defeat the opponent. Only few chapters have been released yet, but this one looks promising and has great potential. Honestly, him dying so many times was interesting, considering most such manhwas just die ten times at best and then win, while we actually felt his struggles because of how long it was. Number 8 on our list is becoming the Swordmaster Rank Young Lord of the Sichuan Tang family. Tang Yunmyong was born into the once powerful Sichuan Tang family, known for their expertise in poison and concealed weapons. But now, their glory days have faded. Growing up there, Tang Yunmyong develops a strong passion for swords, triggered by memories of his past life where he was a master swordsman. All he wants in his life is to live peacefully, he thinks. But to achieve that, he must keep his sword skills hidden. Yet he faces many challenges that make it hard to stay unnoticed. Number 7 on our list is Executioner. Gang Yu is on a quest for revenge after his team and brother were all killed by the main big bad antagonist, taking on the role of a prison guard, also known as an executioner, in order to kill. This story sort of reminds me of The Raid an Indonesian action film where a rookie cop and his team take on a crime lord in his huge apartment complex, fighting their way in and up. Except in this story, Gang Yu is fighting his way in and down the prison levels. Solid edge tier, action-packed gore, manhwa, minus the edgy tween to dampen the mood or effect of the story trying to be told. Main character is mostly stoic, badass, and is overpowered from the start. Number 6 on our list is Heavenly Blood Star. Cheon Yuok is an orphan who survives by begging. He meets a friend named Gunok and saves Gunok's younger brother, Cheon Ah. In return, Gunok saves Yuok's life. They become very close friends, ready to die for each other. Together, they join the Heavenly Sovereign Sect, where they are trained by the Overlord and Cheon Giwon, the military leader of the sect. After passing through the Hell's Gate, Yuok earns the title of Dark Blood King. He almost dies as an enemy of the White Faction, but survives by sacrificing his foster father, Feng Baek. The Heavenly Sovereign Sect, led by the Heavenly Emperor, wants to rule the world. To stop them, many factions rise up. The White Lotus Army uses cunning plans to spread chaos and fight for control of the world. Number 5 on our list is Sun's Retribution. Kang Pildu, a ruthless and emotionless prosecutor, hears that his mother has died. He discovers that the Seonhua group, run by his father and older brothers, had a hand in her death. Determined to get revenge, he starts a plan to destroy the Seonhua group. Number four on our list is The Last Adventurer. In the bleak era of adventure, where gates marked the onset of despair and hopelessness, a lone figure stood defiant. Last Adventurer, El Palm. Surrounded by a world resigned to defeat, Elpom refused to surrender, clinging to hope with every fiber of his being. As his comrades succumbed to despair, he pressed on, driven by an unyielding determination to defy fate until his last breath. In the face of overwhelming odds, Elpom's resolve remained unshaken. 
With each step, he retraced the paths of countless adventurers who had gone before him, drawing strength from their legacy, even as the world around him crumbled. Despite the darkness that threatened to consume everything, El Palm remained a beacon of unwavering determination, a symbol of resilience in the face of adversity. As the final chapter of the adventurer's tale unfolded, El Palm returned to where it all began, confronting the forces that sought to extinguish the spirit of adventure once and for all. In a climactic showdown against the encroaching darkness, El Palm stood as a testament to the indomitable power of the human spirit, his bravery echoing through the annals of history long after the era of adventure had drawn to a close. Number three on our list is my exclusive tower guide. Hoyong Lee leads a quiet, lonely life with no family or friends. One day, he gets a warning that the world will end in 15 days. He prepares as much as he can, and when the day arrives, he finds himself teleported to a mysterious tower with 23 other people. They are all forced to take part in dangerous missions to survive. Hoyong has a secret advantage, a strategy guide that helps him successfully complete each mission and earn the trust of his companions. However, the guide can't help him with everything. He must face Seo Yan Son, a gun-wielding assassin who has chosen him as her target for the Day of Blood. Hoyong has to figure out when, where, and how she will try to kill him. With his life at risk, Hoyong must find the answers on his own and quickly. Number two on our list is the Indomitable Martial King. In a world where humans buy and sell otherworldly species as slaves, the great mage Riffenheart is seen as the demon king because he helps these enslaved beings. One day, a group of heroes arrives to defeat this so-called demon king. Riffenheart manages to severely injure the heroes, but then the strongest hero, the martial king Teslon, deals him a fatal blow. As Riffenheart is about to die, he uses his last bit of magic to cast a powerful spell called Time and Space Regression Spell. This spell sends him back in time. But when he wakes up, he finds himself in the body of the Martial King Teslon, the very hero who had tried to kill him and who is known as the strongest man on the continent. Now, Riffenheart must navigate his new life as both a great mage and the most powerful warrior. His adventures begin as he aims to change the world and end the slavery of otherworldly species once and for all. Number one on our list is Mist, Might, Mayhem. The story revolves around Zhong, a notoriously evil, slaughtering scythe demon who enjoys killing others. Coincidentally, Zhong resembles Mok Gyeong Woon, the third young master of the prestigious Mok Sword Manor. One day, while Zhong is imprisoned, he strikes a deal with Mok Gyeong Woon. Zhong proposes that if Gyeong Woon allows him to take over his life, he will let him go free. Gyeong Woon, desperate to escape the clutches of his overbearing family, agrees. Zhong kills the third young master and successfully assumes his identity. However, things are not as easy as they seem, as Gyeong Woon's life is filled with danger and intrigue. The fake mock Gyeong Woon, now forced to live as the real one, must navigate the intricate web of politics and power dynamics that come with being a member of the mock sword manor. Meanwhile, Zhong revels in his newfound power and begins his new life as the third young master of the great mock sword manor leaving the real Mok Jiang Woon to ponder if he made the right decision. This is something I'm looking forward to. The story is just great, and it has the potential to be a great one in the future. The artwork is great too. It has the same author as Nano Machine, and is set in the exact world of Nano Machine, but 800 years in the past. The protagonist is even more powerful than Cheon Yeo Woon, without the help of Nano from the beginning. It seems that this protagonist is the heavenly demon from Nano Machine, and I am curious to know what happens to him. Perhaps he will become even stronger than Cheon Yeo Woon's peak form in the future. Edit, I just checked the Nano Machine fandom and found out that the Heavenly Demon's name was Jong. So it is confirmed that he is indeed the Heavenly Demon. Thanks for watching. We hope you discovered some manhwa. So, don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and hit that subscribe button.